home. Got the game home. Overall, looks in really good shape. Welcome to Moto's Cades and Coffee. Morning, everybody. It's Andy from Moto's Cades and Coffee. I got another arcade pickup. It's going to be a quick blast, so let's go. I'll check it out, and I'll tell you uh, what it is and where we're going. Let's go. All right, so I'm headed uh, not too far away, about an hour, hour, 15 minutes away, up north. Um, I'm picking up an Asteroids cocktail. Don't want to crash. An Asteroids cocktail that is non-working. The guy says it won't turn on. I uh, think it could be a fuse. It's never just a fuse. But it won't turn on. And I did see in one of the pictures, one of the leads to the fuse block was very loose. So I'll take a look. It's not a great amount of money. Um, we'll try it out and see what we if we can get it to work. And uh, again, it's an Asteroids cocktail. We'll see what happens. Let's go. I forgot to get money. So I got to go to the ADM. Whoop. All right, I'm here. I'm going to go pick it up. We'll check it out. There it is. It was super quick in and out. I didn't get much of it. Asteroids, suppose not working, didn't even plug it in, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. Let's get it home. I'm home, got the game home. Time to unload it and see what we got and turn it on and keep fingers crossed. Hopefully we can uh, get it running. Let's go see. There's the Asteroids cocktail. I'm gonna spend around five minutes to see if I can get it to run today, but that's all the time. The rest, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try and get it to uh, run clean it up the guy said it's been in his house and his uh family for th three generations like 30 years and it stopped working 15 years ago and they just left it as a drink holder for cocktails and booze um kind of funny to me <laughs> actually in pretty decent shape i'll take a look see what i can do so here is the inside of the game looks really clean i noticed that right off the bat in one of the pictures i'm going to test the fuses see if i can't get it to boot up okay i just I just checked all the fuses, they all <laughs> had continuity. So, um, oh yeah, he said he was missing this. Well, I just found this. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Goes the other way, I think. Anyway, let's see if we can turn it on. Moment of truth. Okay, moment of truth. Nothing on there. Let's see if there's an on off switch. Okay, I just flipped the uh, little um, uh, connector switch in there. We'll see what happens now. Oh, <laughs> I heard something. Glowing on the board. Let me flip it around, see what the monitor does. Let's see what happens. Hasn't been playing in 30 years. I'm not hearing anything. Oh. <sighs> Neck glow, but it looks like um, I got the switch for uh, the red dot switch. Let's see. All right. Look what I got. Asteroids. Board looks good. Light on there. I haven't tested any of the power to the board. Looks like I got the red dot, but I do have neck glow. Nothing's coming on the screen. Uh, I don't hear sound. I, it does, that was disconnected. I connected it. All the fuses are good. Um, yeah, not sure where I'm gonna go next. Testing this guy out, but look what I got. All right, so these chips were not seated well. I seated them again. I don't think that's it. This was all mangled and touching each other. So, uh, I separate them. I don't think that's going to do anything. It's probably fried. Uh, I'll do the test points in a little bit, but that's all I'm going to do. Let's see if I can turn it on and see what we get. All right, there is my Astros Deluxe. The board has gone out to get fixed. I'm going to clean it up today. See how nice I can get it to look. Probably spray paint. Clean it up and go. Let's get it clean. All right, cleaned up a little bit and spray painted on some end pieces there and there. I'm just getting the board back and uh, yeah, we'll get her playing. Overall, looks in really good shape. 
All right, guys, I'm really excited. I just got my package back in the mail from Doug. He fixed the board, he had it stable, playing for a few days, he said. By the way, this, bo this box has been <laughs> sent to and from probably Doug three times, and I use the same box. All right. Got my board back, I'm gonna open it up, and put it in. The asteroids and then fire it up. So let's go do that and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. It's all on the board. There's a screw right there. And here. Okay. What do we got? Do you get in? Okay. Put these screws in. One here, the board here. All right, but we will plug the monitor or the PCB in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot these two have to get rewired into here. I'll fix that a little bit better in a second. But in the meantime, I believe they're just power. I'm gonna just splice them real quick, and then we will put them in better. There's a quick splice job I did. There's the board. I'm gonna go turn it on and we'll see what we get. Let's go. All right, let's plug it in and see what we get. Got the plug right here. Just gonna plug in and see what happens. Let's see what's happening on the monitor. Nothing yet. Um, Guys, Doug did really great on the board. I cleaned it up, painted, knocked the rust off. Got the years of crud off all the game, cleaned up the glass, vacuumed it out, and uh, turned out really, really nice. The code buttons are blinking. When they're, when they're both blinking like that in their light, that means it's on. So set them free play. There's one player. I can tell you all the controls work, all the sounds work. Oh, I just got killed. Sorry, it's hard to play one-handed. But you can see... I'm flipping around. There we go. There we go. All the sounds were, come on. Yay. All right, so there is the Asteroids cocktail. Let me know what you think. And if you have any interest in this game, it will be for sale. You can reach me at my email, which I'll put in the description. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll call this one complete.